So this is our first campsite in Holiday Lake State Park in Virginia. As you can see, it is a beautiful morning. You see that pink tree there? Um, that's a red bud and this area is just loaded with them and they're all in bloom. It's really pretty. So we got in last night, got set up. Uh, it was like seven when we got here, so we had a late dinner. But um, it's a beautiful campsite. It's supposed to be 72 today. The clouds are supposed to roll in this afternoon, so we're hoping that we get to see the eclipse before, um, before it gets too cloudy. It won't be complete here, but we'll see a partial. And I just did some morning yoga. See, that's me. <laughs> um, I love doing yoga outside when I'm camping. So you can see it's just, it's a very pretty campsite. And <laughs> we're like all alone here. There's one other trailer that I've seen. Beautiful. So here from the restroom, you can see a lot of the red bud trees. Look at all those bright pink trees. Bunch over here. There's the one other trailer I've seen. Yeah, so it's just beautiful, really pretty. And the trees are all starting to, uh, to bud out. It was, this is a little further south than Delaware, so it was, um, the trees were a lot further along as we drove down here, but we're, we're up in elevation a little bit here. So this is closer to uh, what it's like in Delaware, maybe even a little bit behind because we're up a little higher. And this is one thing I could not tell when you book a campsite reservation these days, you get a lot of information. Um, you can see a photo of the site. You can um, you can see which ones are reserved so that you're not crowded in. Um, it'll even tell you how many feet it is to the bathroom, which is really important to me because, you know, I'm trying to reserve my energy for fun stuff like kayaking and hiking. Um, one thing you cannot tell though, when you reserve a site, is how hilly it is. And <laughs> I don't know how well it shows up here, but this campground is very hilly. Um, like I said, we are kind of up in the mountains. This is in the middle of a state forest, so yeah, a little hillier than I wanted. But I'm doing fine. Down by the lake at Holiday Lake State Park. Beautiful little beach area here, playground for the kids, all kinds of stuff set out for some sort of uh, ranger-led activity. Beautiful park. We're gonna take a little hike. Don't know if this is gonna show up, but there's a whole bunch of butterflies here. All fluttering around. Of course, as soon as I take the camera out, there's one. <laughs> there's one bite, too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there's another. Beautiful trail right along the water.
a little bubbling stream here. Oh, more butterflies. Love that sound. So we just came up a big hill. <laughs> There's the creek way down there. And there is more hill ahead. So this is where we turn back. I'm doing really well. Hardly going over my heart rate limit at all, but um, don't want to overdo it. I need to take a late nap today so that I can see the eclipse. Back down. So we got to see the rest of the campground as we were driving to and from our hike. And it's completely empty. Uh, there were two other trailers over there that pulled out. There's one uh, small motor home up at the top of the hill there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. And there's us. <laughs> So that's great. I just love camping this time of year and especially midweek. We've just got the whole place to ourselves. Saw a couple of people out on the lake uh, fishing and uh, no one else on the hiking trails. Just really nice. So, so, so quiet. It's great. And uh, no cell service. So, um, we are completely off the grid. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. It's warmer than it was supposed to be. Um, bright sunshine. Although it's supposed to get cloudy right around 3. So we'll see um, how much of the eclipse we can see. Beautiful day here at Holiday Lake State Park in Virginia. And I am reading The Half Moon by Mary Beth Keene. She is the author of Ask Again Yes, which I just read in February. Um, did a buddy read with Nikki and absolutely loved it. So I've been really looking forward to this. This is one of the books and authors for Booktopia, um, which will take place the last weekend in April at the Northshire Bookstore in Manchester, Vermont. 
and I'm enjoying it so far, and I can't wait to meet the author. Hiking the Whiskey Run Trail in Fairystone State Park. The rain just ended after a big 18 hour storm and uh, taking a little hike. It's kind of uphill, so we'll see how long I last on this one. So, this used to be an iron mine where they mined iron ore. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, good, trail flattens out a little bit. We just came up quite a ways. As you can see, we've got beautiful blue sky and all that rain yesterday brought really brought the the green out in the the trees. Everything's greening up now. Unfortunately, that storm also knocked the power out here in the park. So, and somehow the the water requires power. It must must be pumps involved because yeah, no power or no electricity or water in the campground, but there is one uh, restroom still in the park that still works. So we've had to drive over to use that. It's supposed to be back up around noon today. So all that climbing paid off. Here is a beautiful view from this overlook. You can see the beach down there. That's a uh, fairy stone lake. You can see the clouds are breaking up. We've got lots of blue sky. Very, very windy today though. That's what's blowing the storm out. Uh, leaving behind much cooler weather. We were in shorts and t-shirts a couple of days ago. Not today. <laughs> Today's a fleece day. It's beautiful up here. Conservation Corps that built this park and many of our other parks during the Depression. So, big steep drop here down into the quarry. The 
wind is really strong. This is the Fairy Stone State Park Campground. And it's not as well kept up as many Virginia State Parks. The restroom facilities are new, but the, yeah, you can see that site next door. The asphalt's pretty broken up. New tent pads though, if you're a tenter. So, look back this is us um, a pretty small site too we just barely fit on it there's the kayaks and with the storm we had last night the power went out and along with that the water but we can see lights on over at the restroom yay <laughs> And if we come up to our camper. Ta-da! <laughs> the lights are back. So, and now we've got blue skies. Uh, intermittent sunshine, because there are still some clouds up there. But it, it's a lot cooler today, but it's very nice out. Just sitting here at camp, reading my book and cooking, roasting some cauliflower uh, in the coals. Although, yeah, some flames have come up. But um, yeah, well, my husband cooks burgers. And it is still very, very windy. We considered, we really wanted to take the kayaks out. This is a really cool lake for kayaking, but it's just way too windy. I wanted to show you some of the... Yeah, we're sitting here and the trees are just moving all over the place. We did go down to the lake, but it's a little tiny lake and the waves were pretty big. We could probably easily go in one direction, but we'd have a hard time getting back. of a haphazard tour because we're packing up. This is our pop-up camper. King-size beds on both ends. The couch, which is currently covered with dirty laundry. Uh, fridge and cupboard, sink and stove, three, three burner stove. Um, table, again, kind of torn apart because we're about to put it down. And that's the bed that we sleep on. So there's a lot of space in here. It's 26 years old, but we still love it. We're closing it up. So we just pushed, pushed the beds in on 
the ends. My husband's raising the jacks and then we lower the roof. <laughs>